In order to tackle the border crisis, the Home Secretary Suela Braverman is taking the fight to the United Nations. Yes, she's making a direct move against the UN Refugee Convention. Hello everybody, welcome to 2C TV. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the details of uh, what Suela is up to, but also some reaction from the Labour Party. Do you think the opposition party are going to be supporting Suela Braverman in her fight against the UN Refugee Convention? Or do you think that, of course, the Labour Party are going to go with virtual signaling uh, and how we don't need to fix anything. Everything is absolutely fine. All right, so what are we actually talking about in this video. So Le Brabman is um, obviously trying to um, make a move uh, in regards to uh, fixing the asylum system, or the broken asylum system, and by going to America, she said, the best thing to do is actually make public speeches uh, that no other world leader has made until now, uh, ever since uh, we had the UN Refugee Convention. There's been a couple of attempts by certain countries to criticize it, including Poland, but in reality, it's actually been fully supported the concept of UN Refugee Convention without even questioning uh, even the details or amendments, especially the 1967 amendments. So in this video, we're going to exactly talk about uh, what's happened with the UN Refugee Convention throughout the last few decades, uh, but also what Suela has actually said. So one of the main problems, um, a, a lot of people in the media have been talking about the ECHR and the European judges when it comes to us failing to protect our own borders. But the fundamental issue goes to the, Euro the United Nations. There are two areas that we have actually signed up to. One is the UN Refugee Convention, which is from 1951. And uh, there's an amendment in 67, which made everything worse. And there's another issue, which is the, the refugee pact, uh, the migrant pact uh, that uh, Theresa May was uh, uh, supportive of. And But in this video, we're going to focus on what happened in, in the 1950s after the Second World War. So... Suela has come out to say that we now live in a completely different time. Let me be clear, uh, there are vast uh, swathes of uh, the world where it is extremely difficult to be gay or to be a woman. Where individuals are being persec persecuted, it is right that we offer sanctuary. But we will not be able to sustain an asylum system if, in effect, simply being gay or a woman and fearful of discrimination in your country of origin is sufficient to qualify for protection. The status quo, where people are able to travel through multiple safe countries and even reside in safe countries there for years, uh, while they pick their preferred destination to claim asylum, is absurd and unsustainable. Especially as uh, Suela has uh, implied, it's basically like going shopping. For a new country and you just basically shop for the best country that you think of and all you have to say is just hello i'm a woman or hello i'm gay or hello i'm this and uh, by identifying yourself as one of them then you, you can't be questioned this is why the system is broken everything goes back to what happened in 1951 the whole point of the un refugee convention in 1951 was about the displacement of millions of europeans that was the whole point to help with that and then in about over oh, well, 10 15 years after uh, the, the the globalists at the time decided to have meetings inside the Euro united nations and thought let's basically make it broader and wider and vague so in 1967 they added the amendment to make the whole convention universal which meant they technically on paper it was supposed to be for example if you're gay or a woman if you are being persecuted then yeah you can seek asylum but now the system, the way it's been amended uh, or basically not been reformed, it means that all you have to do is say, I am a woman or I am gay. You don't even have to prove evidence uh, that you are being persecuted. So you, you could just have a nice life back in your own home country and quiet life. But you can still seek asylum somewhere else, which makes absolutely no sense. Now, there's an, another core principle in, with the new amendment, a new amendment, latest, well, one of the amendments that they had in the 60s, is the non refoulement which means that refugees should not be returned or expelled from a country against their will if they fear for life and freedom. If they fear <clears throat> against their will. So you can go to a random country 
<laughs> and illegally enter it. And if the country says, we're going to have to kick you out, they say, but it's against my will, because I fear, my feelings say that I might be in an uncomfortable situation back home. Compare it to genuine political refugees and genuine asylum seekers who literally can't go back home and they will choose any safe country, neighboring countries usually. So we have a lot of uh, uh, people in Syria who go literally just next door, whether it's Turkey or somewhere else. And, uh, but they don't really pick, like, okay, should I go to Canada or should I go to Australia? It doesn't really work that way. But until now, that's how a lot of people have been coming to, uh, well, across the world, uh, the West especially. Now, the reaction from the Labour Party, absolutely expected. <laughs> <laughs> There's no surprise in this. Eva Cooper, who is going to be potentially becoming our next Home Secretary, um, or Foreign Secretary, I don't know, they keep changing their positions. At, at this point, the Shadow Cabinet is very hard to keep up. But uh, <laughs> Eva Cooper said, Suella Bradman has given up on fixing the asylum system. Now she's resorting uh, to uh, grandstanding abroad and looking for anyone else to blame. So... I'm not even a big defender of Swirla. I mean, I, I defend her if she says the right things or if she does the right things, but I'm not really a loyal fan But uh, or the Tories. But the whole point of Swirla Bradman trying to change policies is literally her trying to fix the asylum. So you could disagree with the policy, you could disagree with the direction, but she's trying to fix, she hasn't given up. They're blaming other people, she says. I mean, it's quite rich coming from the Labour Party on that issue. But the main point of what's happening with Sora Bradman and uh, this speech in America and everything else is if something is broken, you need to point out. So if is the Labour Party in the next general election, because they, they want to come up with ideas to fix the country, are they going to be blaming the Tory government for the problems? Of course they are, because the Tories are in government. So if Sora Bradman is criticising the UN Refugee Convention, it's because the UN Refugee Convention is currently in place. So... Think before you talk, Yvette, because your hypocrisy gets exposed every single time you open your mouth. It's embarrassing, absolutely embarrassing. Anyway, we're going to keep you guys um, um, up to date with what's going to happen with uh, Swala and the, this trip and the public speech and everything else, because we're going to get more details later on. So uh, either later tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to give you all the updates on that as well. Uh, we're going to have more updates uh, throughout the day, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.